Now, first we are going to take, first we are going to study autotrophic mode of nutrition. As I told you initially, plants, the green plants. They use sunlight, which is the major source of energy, and that is light energy. Later on, carbon dioxide, and water. When plants, when these green plants use these three elements, or these three essential things they can produce food on their own and they perform a process called as photosynthesis right from our childhood we study this process plants prepare their own food so plants have their own kitchen in present in their own body now we see the leaf which are present in their body the leaves which are present in the plants, they perform the function of food production because in these leaves we can find small green pigments, green pigment like structure which is, which is not visible to the naked eyes. So we have to use a microscope and when we use a microscope we see the small green pigments present in the leaf. So, when this sunlight, when the rays of light, sun fall on the leaf, it falls on chlorophyll, then in chlorophyll, the there is, it is also called the kitchen center. So, there it produces food and later on, they take up water and carbon dioxide and through, when the water, when we supply water, it does now you tell me, this is a plant, so when you want to water a plant, do you water it right from the top, no that is completely wrong, so we normally we water the plant from the base level, the ground. When we water the plant, the water which we pour, it goes, the roots take up all the water and then this water is supplied to all the parts of the plant. And so the plant gets water and from the atmosphere, the surrounding, the plant takes up carbon dioxide and from the above, it takes up sunlight. So in this way, the plant produces food and this process is only known as photosynthesis. Now, photo means light and synthesis to break down, to, which means breaking the, the rays of sunlight and producing food on its own. It is called as photosynthesis. of a leaf. This is a leaf which is present to the plant and in that we see these cylindrical structures, these oval structures. In the when vein present, in the vein there is the upper epidermis, the waxy cuticle and in that there are the chloroplasts. These are the chloroplasts present in the, in the leaf. Now these chloroplasts only produce food. They produce, they produce food. And these here you can see the air spaces. Here is the guard cells, which protect the plant. This is the lower epidermis. 
So this is the cross section of a leaf. In this leaf, you can see the chloroplast. Now, in photosynthesis, there is a reaction taking place. So, I'm going to write this reaction. In this, what happens when six molecules of carbon dioxide, which is CO2, and 12 molecules of water, that is H2O, they combine together. which takes place in the chlorophyll sunlight rays are provided then what happens is we, we get C6, H12, O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O here we see that when 6 molecules of carbon dioxide CO2 plus combines with 12 molecules of H2O that is water in the presence of sunlight which all this reaction takes place in the chlorophyll we get C6H12O6 now let me tell you what is C6H12O6 this is glucose this is the glucose molecule apart, with, apart from that we get 6 molecules of oxygen and 6 molecules of water. So this is the process, this is the reaction which takes place actually in the photosynthesis. So as we saw that to produce food, a plant requires all these three elements that is sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to produce food. If, this, if one of these components, if one of these elements are missing, they are absent, a plant cannot produce food. So in this way, we see photosynthesis process taking place. Now, in this photosynthesis, what happens is absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. When the rays of sunlight fall on the plant and that in that plant, on the leaf, it falls. Then, in that leaf, there is a chlorophyll present. That chlorophyll absorbs the heat, absorbs the light energy. This is the first process which takes place. Second, conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Here we see the sunlight which is broken down. The sunlight is the form of light energy. It breaks down into chemical energy in the form of C6H12O6 and C6O2 and 6H2O which means splitting of water molecules. See here we initially we had 12 molecules of water which is converted into 6 molecules of water. So the remaining molecules of water are used by glucose and that water molecule is split into hydrogen and oxygen. The third process which takes place in photosynthesis is reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. So initially we saw carbon dioxide but later on after the process of photosynthesis when carbon dioxide combined with water and in the presence of sunlight which took place in chlorophyll this carbon dioxide is converted into carbohydrates. So this is the process of photosynthesis. So let's summarize. The, in this chapter, in this module, we have studied, we have learned the different life processes, the intro part. How do we take nutrition? There are two types of nutrition. The first, very first autotrophic nutrition, that is plants prepare their own food using the sunlight, the carbon dioxide, the water in, in the chlorophyll pigment and we saw the process of photosynthesis, the three steps which takes place, absorption of light, then conversion of light energy 
into chemical energy and splitting of water molecules and later on carbon dioxide which is get converted into carbohydrates so in this way we saw today photosynthesis autotrophic mode of nutrition how the life prolongs in a person the different systems which take place in our body and the whole life processes thank you so much for watching this